it is Mishy Beauty. I am back again and this time I am back with kind of an unexpected product. It is a product that I have never tried out before. Uh, it is a brand, not just product, that I have never tried out before and I have never tried it out on my channel. So this is the first time I am trying this product out on my channel. I have never tried Charlotte Tilbury. So I did make a few small orders uh, this past, what has it been, about, about three or four days. The order did not take long to ship. And let me just show you guys the packaging once you open the actual box. It came via FedEx. Let me go ahead and get that. It came in two boxes. I made two separate orders and I'll tell you why in just a minute. So uh, the package, I want to cover my address here. Not that anybody cares. Uh, but the packaging, of course, came in the FedEx box. And let me just show you how she packages her items. You get a letter with your shipping documentation in it. Look at that letter. Look how that looks. And then everything is wrapped nicely. This is so classy just for a shipment of a few items. You see that? That is so nice. This is the nicest, the nicest shipping I've, I've actually had uh, from a, uh, not vendor, but for product, makeup products. It's the nicest shipping. So, what I ended up ordering uh, was the Glowgasm Beauty Light Wand. This is a high blush. And let me go ahead. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to unbox. I actually just, I think I purchased two things. Uh, and then I'll talk about, you actually get to order um, some trial sizes of things, which I did. And I'll talk about that in a minute. So this is the Glowgasm Beauty Light Wand. It's blush. I was very interested in that. And I got the shade... I love her packaging. I just absolutely love it. And this is the shade I thought, I, th I think it's Glowgasm is the shade. Oh, Pinkgasm is the shade. And let me just go ahead and oh, This mimics her, um, what is that? The concealer wand. Sorry, my hair is looking horrible. This mimics her concealer wand a little bit. So yeah, so we're going to try that on. And I am going to put... I am going to put foundation on. And I'll talk about that in a minute. And I will do my eyes. I did not get an eye palette from her. Uh, and let's see what's in the second box. I forgot the second thing I ordered. I'm not sure. Same packaging, of course. Let's go ahead and open that one up. What did I get? It's a lot of paper in here. <laughs> I think I got something small. Yeah. The multi... Miracle Glow Cleanser, which I will not try today. I've already cleansed my face. Let's go ahead. And this is a, I believe it's a trial size. Not trial, but mini size, is, I believe. The Multi Miracle Glow Cleanser Mask and Balm for Glowing Softer Skin. And this is the packaging for that. I ordered, this is 15 ml, 0.52, uh, 0.52 fluid ounces of this. It has a light scent, but it's, it's nothing um, too potent or anything like that. It doesn't smell chemical. It's a nice fresh scent. 
I will be trying this off camera and I'll let you guys know uh, my thoughts as I try it for at least, a, I don't know, two weeks maybe. Uh, that I will not try on today. However, this uh, I will try on today. This is what I will try on today. As well as the sample products for free that I could choose. I ended up choosing the Airbrush Flawless Foundation. Now the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flaw uh, I have this tongue twister. The Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Foundation did not release just yet. We don't know when it's coming. I believe it's coming soon. I think it's coming sometime in August. Let me I'm sorry you guys saw beyond my background. This is the sample of the foundation. And I, I'm not sure. I'm probably most likely going to be here. Okay, so that's warm. Warm number nine. So I, I don't know what this is though. I mean it says neutral 16 so number nine might be a little light for me I might have to mix nine and 16 for the purposes of this video nine warm all right I don't know about that uh, 7.5 is neutral there's no eight. I might have to try nine. Sorry, guys. All right. And I also got, I made sure, sorry, I made sure to get two orders, two separate orders, because I was able to then get, oh, my goodness. Okay, so this is the, okay. Okay. So I'll talk about that later. So I was able to get two of these. And hopefully uh, this will make enough foundation together so that I can wear it and do a wear test and see how it goes on. Now on my face already, I, I washed my face and I moisture, well I used oil. So I used my oil that I usually use and then I used some under eye cream. Uh, where did that go? I think I put it away. But I used some under eye cream that I got in one of my boxes. So, let me zoom back out. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and put on the foundation. I first have to, let me go ahead and open it. The whole reason for this video is really to see how this new light, uh, not light wonder, airbrush flawless uh, foundation um, wears. Okay, and this is going to tell me whether I'm going to spend my money on it or not. So let me get some scissors and I'm going to cut out the two that I might mix and I will be right back. All right, guys, so I have mixed the two. I don't know if this is a good way to do it. Let me get my mirror. But I wanted you guys to see that the 16 neutral, which is the darker, and the nine warm, which is the lighter. So I'm just gonna go in and mix the two. I'm doing circular motions, because yes, I, I am mixing this while it's on my face. and. This is supposed to be a matte foundation, um, and so you can't let it sit there forever before you start blending. So let's go in fast. And I did make sure to put the light the lighter foundation shade under my eye to make sure that at least got under my eye so it's going to be interesting to find out my true shade in this 
and with seeing the other and with seeing the other it's going on really nice I'm just trying to make sure I blend the light um, with the darker shade the lighter shade with the darker shade going on really nice and I think even if I had more I would actually use this amount if I had more I think I would use this amount to be honest with you because I've seen people use more and it's sorry I was looking for something um, I've seen people use more and it gets a little cakey and you don't get to see the true, um, sorry, the true advantage of using this, or not advantage, but the, the true positive of using it if you put too much. Okay, and I am going to zoom in. If it would focus, let's see if it'll focus. There we go. Now the mix of the two seem to be my shade. However, I think I put more of the darker color on my forehead as I'm seeing. It appears that I might have done that. This darker shade, again, this is the Charlotte Tilbury, uh, the Charlotte Tilbury Flawless Foundation. I have an issue saying that. I'm kind of, what I should have did was maybe 75 neutral. So let me get that and see what that looks like. So I'm now mixing three shades. I don't know about this. I will put this on my forehead to lighten it up. This is 7.5 neutral. I don't know what's wrong with my camera today. I don't know if it's the background. Let me zoom out a little bit. So let's go ahead and blend that in. And I'm going to use a little bit of that also on my eyelids. Kind of like a primer for my eyeshadow. So this shade, which is 7.5 neutral right here, this kind of lightens my forehead. That last color, which is the 16, let's see, the 16 neutral, that one was actually um, too dark. So whatever they have in between, that's what I'll use on the back. They give you the shades, all the shades. And again, what I am trying is only what they send in the sample. And let me go in with the neutral from the other the 7.5 neutral just to put a little bit more foundation on my skin so I have enough to actually I'm putting it on my brush now enough to actually you know do a wear test for so really I believe this would be probably about half a pump 
combined, all of this um, foundation combined. Uh, I believe it would be not even a full pump on my skin, but I am making it work because I don't put on a lot of foundation. that will work for a trial because I'm not just testing the color although it would be nice I don't know what's going on with my camera focusing today it's like I have to look at the camera for it to focus still learning my camera so guys I'm going to try to bring you in close. This is what my forehead looks like with the foundation. I think what I'm going to do is um, get on my other camera because this is not showing the trueness because it's blurry. All right guys, so here I am. I did switch cameras so I could get a little close without any blurring. I do have some heat, what I call heat bumps on my face. So this foundation does look very pretty minus the bumps I already have on my face. I think the finish is very nice and except for the color not having a the right color to uh, blend with um, other than that I think the way it lays is good let's see how it's set into my under eye I like the way this looks. It does not look cakey at all. I don't know if this will oxidize or not. And let me just read to you. Let's come on out. Not in. trying to get my camera straight it does say let's see Charlotte Tilbury airbrush flawless foundation stays all day and night a full coverage foundation with a flawless matte long-lasting finish okay so it says apply your airbrush flawless foundation blending outwards from the center of your face for a flawless airbrushed finish so this does look very good. Um, I think I need, let me just taking a look at this. It looks like I might be somewhere here. Okay, maybe between these two. Uh, they are, let's see, eight, I had it upside down. So they are, what I pointed to was eight warm and nine cool. Eight warm and nine cool. I think I would be in between those shades, but I would have to try this out. Depending upon how this wears today, it will say whether or not, I think whether or not I would want to spend my money on, the, on a full bottle of it. Um, just looking at it it doesn't say how much comes in the actual full-size bottle but there have been people uh, that live in Europe that have got, gotten their hands on a full bottle and they do tell you uh, how much is in that bottle uh, I am not sure yeah this is light for my skin um, 
and I don't have enough to keep mixing um, and trying out. So I'll just go with this today. Uh, once I put on, I don't know if I want to put on foundation, foundation powder. Um, I just want to see how this wears without powder. I'm not sure. I might warm myself up with the Physician's Formula, Formula Butter Bronzer just a little bit. This is not the darkest butter bronzer uh, that they have, but I can try to warm myself up a little bit with this. Um, I don't want to take away from the foundation itself, seeing what happens with the color as I wear it. Um, I will probably go ahead and pick up my daughter with this on and things like that. So let me go ahead and bronze a little bit and then I will try the um, Pink Gasm, the Glowgasm Beauty uh, blush wand. So let me go ahead and... Sorry, I never stop the camera. I just bend over and get what I need. I am going to use my, to put the foundation on, I use my Sigma F80. And to put the butter bronzer on, I am going to use the Real Techniques, uh, which brush is this? Multitask brush here. So that's what I'm going to do. Here. And I'm just going to darken this side up a little bit. It's probably not going to be enough because this isn't as dark, but I'm just going to try to warm this side up that looks a little light. I love the way Physician Formula products, the way they smell. Love it. So this side of my face is a little bit lighter just because I put, I think somehow put more of the darker shade on my face. So that's all, let me see. And it's also the way the light is casting I think too. So we're just going to go with one side, but at least you guys can see that blending the darker shade kind of blends well with my neck a little bit better than the lighter shade. The Butter Bronzer really isn't doing too much. This is the shade of it, so you see why. is deep bronze um, so that is not there is another shade out there that's more bronzy than that so what I'm gonna do is I am now going to try her um, glowgasm I need to see what time it is because I need to pick up my daughter at a decent time one second all right I have enough time so I think what you do okay okay so it's on off you twist it, it's on off, there's an arrow there and you see the off button. So what I'm gonna do is twist it to on, okay, and that's, see how it gaps open, it lets air in, you can see the arrow there. So let's see if I, oh, I don't know if you all will be able to see. Let's get the color to the top and see if you can see it. I'm scared. Yeah. See that coming through? All right, so let's do this. Bring you guys in closer. I'm probably just gonna need what's on here for both sides. I'm going to use my mirror. Let's 
So I'm going to put this down now that I have it on my cheeks and I am going to use my fingers. It does have a shimmer to it so I'm going to bring this up as if like a highlighter because it has a shimmer to it and I'm just using my middle finger. So it doubles, to me, it doubles as a highlight. To me, it, it's doubling as a highlight. I'm gonna bring it on up. Up and rub, up and rub. I'm going upwards with it. And I'm using another finger that doesn't have product on it to take some of the product off. This is beautiful. I'm glad I made this purchase. And you can also use some of this on your brow bone if you really wanted to. This would be pretty on your brow bone. But I'm going to do my eyes off camera and come back. I'm going to even this up a little bit on this side. But this is what it looks like. Let me zoom out a little bit. I'm really liking this. To me, it doubles as a highlighter. I don't think highlighter is really even necessary. Uh, which side do I want to? I kind of want to make it even. So I'm putting a little bit more on the other side. I need to turn it off. That's what I need to do. That's why that safety is there. Put a little bit on my brow bone. This is really pretty. I am really digging this one. So I do plan to get more Charlotte Tilbury products as I go along. Um, I am wanting to get a foundation and a lip color from her. Those will be my next purchases. But here is the Flawless Foundation and the um, what are the Glowgasm Beauty Light Wand. It's called High Blush. So I can see why they call it high blush because it looks great almost as a highlighter on the high points of your cheekbone. Really liking it. So, uh, so far, I think that the foundation went on very nice. And I also wanna try, there's too many, uh, I can go broke just in trying all of the foundations that came out like within the three to four month span the airbrush flawless filter not filter airbrush flawless foundation that actually um does not come out until the end of august maybe i don't know they haven't really said but I will be buying Shiseido. They have foundation as well. I'm gonna see if I can get my hands on the Shiseido foundation because I'm very interested in that. Uh, a lot of these foundations that are coming out now claim to be good for the skin. Shiseido is no different. They are claiming to be good for the skin. And since I am 40 plus, I don't tell you which number, but since I'm 40 plus, uh, I'm I'm for the ones that do dual jobs, make you look good, flawless, and get your skin together as well. Nourishment for the skin and things like that. But let's go ahead and see how this wears. Let me go ahead and finish my face. I'm gonna put light eyeshadow on to pick my daughter up and let me do that and I'll be right back. 
All right, guys, so I put on uh, some eyeshadow. I used one color and it was from the Wander Beauty Seascapes palette. I did receive this in one of my boxes. The color that I did use is the Sea Salt uh, color right here. And I didn't do anything special to my eyes. I have been skipping the mascara lately. I'm sorry, I do have to give my, um, <laughs> hold on a second. Let me zoom in so you guys don't see beyond my, uh, beyond my background. But I have been skipping the application of eyeliner lately as well as, um, the mascara because mascara I think the usage of that was causing my eyelashes to actually fall out uh, upon cleaning when you rub your eyelashes like that um, they might actually fall out it did in my case and it depends on the actual um, type of eyelash or eyelash the actual type of mascara some of those mascaras are so cakey um, that it takes a lot to get them off of your eye and I think that's actually uh, what was happening the rubbing motion uh, I'm just going to brush my eyebrows right quick and then we'll go in close again before I leave you guys and then come back a little bit later This eye, this eye, did I say eyelash? Eyebrows. This eyebrow gives me more of a problem than the other one. All right, so let me go in close one last time before I leave you guys um, for the day and come back for um, a wear test review. Now, a lot of people uh, will do a wear test over the course of days. So I do not have this advantage um, because this is a trial that I was given of the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Foundation. This is a trial uh, sample, shall I say, very small. Um, I do not think if I get the bottle that I will go in with anything more because this amount seems to be good for my skin. I do not need a lot of coverage, so I was able to stretch this, but, um, just for being light, excuse me, just for being light, I put on that, the eyeshadow that I showed you, just to bring the look together. And as far as um, lip, let me go ahead and put on a gloss. And it, for those that, of you that uh, want to know how I comb my brows, this particular wand right here with the brush on it, spiral brush, it's by the Brow Gal. Brow Gal. And on the other side, of course, you have a sharpener and then you take it off and you've got this. And I am not going to um, put any color on my brows because I'm not going anywhere special. Um, I go between this and another one, uh, which is the uh, Billion Dollar Brows end here. But this one was the first that I grabbed. So they're about the same. As far as my lip is concerned, I'm just gonna go in with a light lip color, a gloss. It's not even a color, it's a gloss. And I am going to take photos and put it at the end of the video after my wear test review is complete. So this is it. This is the foundation. It does look very pretty, especially in here. 
and as far as my nose sometimes I will put I've got this W7 Hollywood bronze and glow what I will do with that is I am going to take a little bit of it and put it down the center of my nose going to use highlighter um, on because of the I am really liking this I'm going to call it a cream blush and I do have another uh, cream blush and I do like that as well but this is nice I like the way it glows so with that said I'm going to go ahead and wear this for about at least give me four hours with it. I'll wear this and I'll come back to you with my final thoughts. All right guys, one thing before I really actually leave, I just wanted to show you what that amount uh, did to the coverage for one of my um, little marks here. Um, I've had this mark for a while and I just wanted to show you guys, oh, there you go, show you guys what that little coverage did so technically if I had more coverage this would not be visible I'm almost certain sorry guys it's it's focusing on my ear for some reason so yeah uh, I just wanted to show you guys that I don't know I have a dark mark here I'm not sure what that is But if I did have more coverage, those uh, marks would not be visible. So with that said, I'll see you guys in a minute. All right, guys, I am back coming at you. Um, oops, I can see beyond my background again. Coming back at you, it is almost six o'clock. I kept this on at least six hours. And the reason I did, not six, I am so sorry, four hours. And the reason why only four hours is because I had such a light veil of it uh, on that it would have definitely rubbed off at the six or eight hour mark. I think so. It's my opinion. But I just wanted you all to come in and see where it stands right now. Uh, you can see there is some oil coming out in my skin. Uh, it's around here. Let me let my camera adjust I'm gonna look at you guys for a second okay it really is around this area here that you can see um, right in here uh, let me move closer the cat is jumping on things you can see here it's just oils but the foundation itself has not separated it has not really caused any creasing uh, if you already have wrinkles of course when you put it on it's not going to fill your wrinkle lines so this frown line I have up here that was there once I put it on there so yeah that is uh, pretty good it's looking pretty good uh, I kept touching my face, so I got a little kind of a whelpy bump. I'm sorry, my daughter. And let's see, you can see my chin. So all in all, I don't see a lot of creasing. I, uh, some of it has come off. I've eaten. Well, I've rubbed a little bit of it off. Um, this, I figured out what this dark area here is. That was for me not blending the darker color in with the lighter color, so that's purely my fault there. Um, other than that, the way that it is looking is pretty good. Now, if I blotted this, which where are my blotting papers? I thought I had some blotting paper. There they are. I have these nice little blotting papers that I got from one of my Korean 
slash Japanese um, boxes that I used to get. Uh, beauty boxes. So let me blot and see what it looks like once I blot. But for four hours, this looks real good. I was out in the heat um, and it is up in the upwards of 95 plus degrees. I didn't say up and upwards. My daughter. Sorry, my daughter is something else yelling. Oh my God, where are you? Anyway, so I blotted a little bit and you can see that due to the oil, of course, some of it comes off. I don't know if you, you can see that there. Um, so it's due to the oil, which is every foundation, it's gonna transfer after a certain amount of time. Uh, I was in the heat, so of course I sweat. This is a matte foundation, but it is not as matte as say a Fenty matte, or especially not as matte as say a Juvia's Place matte. So um, let me go ahead and blot it and show you guys how it looks. Now, the blush highlighter, the blush highlighter combo, that's what I'm calling it, from, um, from Charlotte Tilbury, that is still there, you can see. So I, I am in love with her products that I have ordered so far. I do have to, what did I do with it? I do have to try the sample Light Wonder Youth Boosting Dream Skin Foundation. Light Wonder. Um, this is probably, these two probably will have to be mixed together. I will try that at a, another time. But it is a Light Wonder Youth Boosting Dream Skin Foundation. Uh, it says my best-selling award-winning celebrity favorite foundation. So here's that, and it's not claiming to be matte. Um, it says perfect coverage in a light as air breathable formula. And that I do need to try out. And then I also will be trying out the Magic Night Cream. Charlotte's Magic Night Cream gives you a visibly smoother, more even firmer feeling, radiant complexion while you sleep. So this is something I might try tonight. Um, da, 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 smoother, firmer, and more supple your skin is going to be, is what they're saying. Sorry, my ring light. Um, 30 women tested over 8 weeks. So I'm going to try this. This should be enough for my face at night. As far as what I have already uh, that I did not try on was the Miracle Glow. It's a cleanser mask, and I will probably do this in the morning. Did I open this for you guys? I thought I did, I did, and I smelled it. So I have to test this, um, made in Switzerland. Um, and I don't know what this retails at, but when I do try it on, maybe I'll, well, I'm not gonna try it on in front of you. I don't know, I might film when I try it on, but this for sure, I have on now and I do like it. It has stayed the course of four to five hours. It is the Glowgasm Beauty Light Wand. It's a high blush, um, a high blush, which I think they're talking about. It, it would highlight up here on the high portions of your cheekbone. Uh, I do like it. The color I got, they had two colors that I saw online and the color that I got is Pink Gasm, I think. Let's go ahead and take it back out. Let's see, Pink Gasm is the one that I have. And again, the top looks like this. And let me just put some of it here as a swatch. And that's the leftover that was already on the applicator. But this is really pretty. if I can get up here. That is really nice. So I'm liking the, the liquid blush 
from Charlotte Tilbury. I'm loving it. So this is going to be a keeper. This is not going to be something um, that I take out very often. Uh, Charlotte Tilbury is not cheap. Of course, it's worth it. Uh, I forgot what I paid. Let me see if the letter in here says what this, let me see here. Does it give the prices? It does not give the prices. This is what comes in, this is like the invoice thingy. How come? This is if you want to return anything. Oh well, I will put for the things that I did purchase, not the samples of course, I will go ahead and put the purchased, oh, let me but anyway, this is what it looks like. Um, I will go ahead and put the retail price that I paid for it down below um, in the description. But right now, I am liking the finish of the Charlotte Tilbury airbrush, new airbrush. What is airbrush flawless is what they're calling it foundation, and it is flawless. Um, it's not like the most perfect perfect which there is no such thing as perfect but it does make your skin have a very smooth airbrush look and if I had more of the product hands down it would look a lot more smooth um, but to me my skin looks smooth like minus the bumps that I have on it now from the heat being out in the heat it does look great. I really like this um, shimmery. It's it's a very stunning color to for blush. So yes, I just bring it down and up and down and up, and then pat it with my finger on both sides, and it gives that blush highlight look. So that is it for right now. I do like all the products I ordered. Uh, that I paid for, which was really only two. Uh, I do like the samples that I tried so far, which includes the foundation. Again, I'm thinking it's going to be out at the end of August, but stay tuned because I'm going to come on about it and talk about it when it's released, but I'm not sure if I'm going to buy the entire bottle because I don't wear a lot of liquid foundation. Uh, but this is a nice foundation. I do want to try Shiseido next. I just have to find out uh, who's got it. It's probably going to be a department store most likely. But yeah, until next time, um, I hope you enjoyed the video. Give it a thumbs up if you did like the video. I'm getting a, a whelp or something here. Give it a thumbs up if you did like the video. If you guys are new here, please do subscribe. I do foundation reviews every so often, especially when a new foundation comes out. Uh, and I do unboxings of beauty boxes and makeup subscriptions. So without further ado, I'm going to let you guys get back to your day. And thanks for tuning in. Bye.